we want to say thank you to all of you who recognize that what we're fighting for is not just something simple. It's something that could change the lives for a lot of Americans throughout this country. Whether it's because you suffer from some hip replacement surgery or you're suffering from Parkinson's, we know that if you have the therapy, we can oftentimes keep you not only out of the hospital, but living a pretty decent life for a lot longer. And so we're here for a reason. We're here to fight for something we think is right for our families. And we need you. Because while we have a, a, close to, close to if not more than, at this stage, 180 members in the House who have signed on to my legislation, lifting the caps for this therapy, and over 33 senators in the Senate already signed on to Senator Anson's legislation to lift these caps, we still have a road to go. And we need your help because too many Americans don't understand that one of these days, they may be the victim of this cap. As they go through the process of rehabilitating, as they go through the process of getting their parents or their loved ones back into a better state of health, when they're out there trying to make sure that Parkinson's doesn't devastate that mother or that father, and all of a sudden, behind their backs, comes this cap that says, no longer will Medicare be there to assist you. That's not right. And we're here to fight to make sure that people who care for their loved ones have a chance to do it all the way through. And when we stand here today, we stand here well-dressed to say one thing to Congress. We understand the plight of our family members, and we're going to fight for them. We thank you for taking the time to be here. We thank all those associations that have taken a public position and a pledge to help us get there. In the House, we actually got pretty close. We got that medical exception in our bill. We have to make sure the Senate does the same thing. And by the time the President signs a bill, we want him to know that he's doing right by those countless families who are fighting for their loved ones every day to make sure that they are healthy and ha having a chance to live a good, decent life. And so for those of us who are paying into Medicare today with our paycheck, for those who paid into Medicare yesterday and today are the recipients, the beneficiaries of Medicare, we want to say that we recognize that we're doing this for all Americans, young and old, because one of these days, we want to know that if that knock comes on the door, it's not to say that we won't help you anymore simply because there's a cap on what you can do for your loved ones. Thank you so much for being here. We know you're fighting. Get others to fight. And the best thing we could do is get the people who actually live through these excruciating times come out, come out and tell members of Congress and the senators, this is real. This isn't something on a piece of paper. It's not just policy. This hits the ground. And we need to make sure that when the rubber does hit the road, we've done the right thing for our loved ones. So thank you so much for being here. Thanks for all the work that you've been doing.